Damn. Just doing everything she, he says. Wayne Manor, 5.49 p.m. Oh man, Alfred's not doing good. Bruce! Are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... Tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's <laughs> cover story is going to cause more problems. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You need to take it easy, Al. Get some rest. It's only a momentary bit of exhaustion. I'm sure it will pass. Bruce. I don't like that. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. Yes. She's getting beat up more and more. Family affair. GCPD 716 PM. Bad signal. Rooftop briefing. Almost feels like the good old days. <laughs> <coughs> well, if you mean the city's crawling with masked lunatics and I'm not the commissioner, you're not far off the mark. That's not what I meant. You've been demoted. Waller busted me down to deputy ops. Everything's gotta oh. go through her office now. Uh, if the motion's still tied up in paperwork. For once, the bureaucracy is working in my favor. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Best speed trap. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Hmm. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. Yeah, right. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Waller is like one the of the most sketchy, good. Yeah, I know what she's done. Characters. I can't help every but feel time. a little sorry for her. It's got to be rough on a person going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Gordon, you're dismissed. Yeah, Gordon's always a good guy. This is still my goddamn guy. station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. 
He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. And so Scott's so You're gonna push me animate. too far, you hear me? Yeah. Is yes, that I a have. threat? And no. Just God's honest. Hell to truth. pay you is interesting. Something you wouldn't know a it's damn thing up. about. What does she have on you? Assault on Arkham. You're gonna tell me at the arsenal? What the hell is it? Uh, I think I might have seen it a while ago, but I haven't seen it in and a she's while. she's jammed you up somehow. And Just Suicide Squad, word. she was pretty messed up I'll on that one, I'll appeal to the too. mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin fast. Know yeah, what I mean? she is. Best laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job or you don't. You're absolutely right. And I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you, it's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Yeah, exactly. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. Mistakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. Hmm. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His Don't people tell know me what to do better then. than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. <laughs> Al, I'm in. Just... Don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. 
Oh boy. All right. Here we go. Hopefully that's part of the plan. Old five points, eight twenty seven PM. Hey now. Welcome You're a rock to star. our little hideaway and <laughs> home away from home. The end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <sighs> what I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> Who the hell wants to do hard work? I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. <laughs> he already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? Shut it! Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's what? freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? Oh, boy. You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. Hmm. Huh? Oh, today? Oh, man. I had a reminder. One, one, one. That's right, right? Uh. Oh, wait, this one needs to be off. There we go. Now green. Deactivate it. Well, at least we know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Oh boy. Listen, Bruce, I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit and, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people, your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? 
You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. Uh, I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted Four. to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. Uh, what's the story? So, what's the deal with Freeze? He's unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? Yeah, Freeze. The one thing I, I mean, like about Freeze is everything. I explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I doubt his wife would approve if she realized what he's become. She'd probably never want to wake up. Exactly. So he'd be better Freeze off Freeze has always did been just trying to cure you can his, say that again, his wife. But he might not want to hear it. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. Yeah, right? <laughs> I played the, uh, the DLC for that. I'll go talk to the others. See what I can do to change their and, minds. Uh, I've got yeah, faith that was, in Yeah, it was definitely worth playing. All the, the DLC missions were worth it. It was a good send off, for sure. <gasps> Bruce looks like he's part of like the Italian job, or whatever it's called, that one movie. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna go pull off a giant heist. What's our objective now? Are we just gonna like talk to them?
What the hell do you want? Vane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. Look at his lab. I guess we just need to talk to them. I was hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch Wayne. John's house. Hey, buddy! It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before at your office and uh, making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great. I should have known <laughs> right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> it looked like Bane might kill you. I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Save a guy's ah, life shoot. and uh, nothing in response. I get it. Between friends, some things are beyond words. You're totally right. Exactly. Ah, oh, that worked it, out. Good, you good. Nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Yeah, can I get one of them? Prisca. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. <laughs> he has it literally so he can talk to him. That's funny. Thought you looked thirsty. Yeah, Bane is something else. Bane is goals though. Like being big like that and muscular. <laughs> Please come. If I was ever to do like cosplay or something like that, the person I would want to cosplay as would be like Bane. Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I'd bomb their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know. Are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. <laughs> Any revenge I wanted, I already got. He did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find. Especially after Riddler's death. We'll see if you can be trusted, Wayne. Very soon. I always thought Pain was a really cool character. 
I've been wanting to rewatch. I mean, the main one that I've wanted to rewatch uh, for the Dark Knight trilogy is Dark Knight Rises because I haven't seen it in like so long. I might have rewatched it like one time. Like Batman Begins, I've probably seen like three or four. Dark Knight, I've probably seen like four or five. But like, oh jeez, wasn't ready for that. What are you trying to pull? You'll answer me if you're smart and understand the concept of self-preservation. What you're doing? That kind of love, it's rare. My wife followed your goings on in the society columns, Wayne. You are more familiar with lust. Yeah. Than love. That's it's how crazy know too. how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Send to prison. I've been wanting to what watch to uh, Capone then? too. What do you propose? Since apparently Tom Hardy nails it, it just overall the movie isn't perfect. Perfect. I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return on my investment. <laughs> Practical. I respect that. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Nice. Wait! Good luck. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Bane! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it. The package is moving. What's going on? The job we've been Wait. getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm oh, ready. Not so fast, down. your money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out? Oh, God. The aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands. Out. There may be more to Wayne than first appeared. You can be trusted. You. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce We're is in. in. Oh, boy. You learned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can yeah! be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hind! <laughs> Behind enemy lines. Oh man, oh man. Midtown Heights, 1140. 
version of Bane is pretty comic accurate too, which I like. Wayne, we are close. I do Make like this version ready. of Bane. We'll do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah. What? Is that an Avenged Sevenfold tattoo? Uh -huh. No. It looks like right one now. at least. Waller. On the move with targets. Yeah. Track the signal. Get your people here now. I've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Now we do this. Happening. I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Bane! Do it! Yeah, the police gonna that? shut off their HG, weapons. Do you copy? My gun, it's fried. All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp. Secure the vehicle. is on the perimeter. Keep... Yeah, yeah. Freeze! Open the door! Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. And I'll no sudden moves. And no talk. Hail. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. Back off! Or I'll shoot. Don't. Break it up! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I would not turn my back on you. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here! Something like that. No! That was my ride! Break out the artillery and disable their vehicles! Damn it! We can fix this all later. For now, just move it. While they're out. I don't want to hurt you. But I will blow your heads off if you make me. Eat concrete! Stay down for the Well, that 
that was fun. Kinda. Be a sweetheart and give me a hand with the luggage. Without him. Nowhere to be seen. One sec. Nice work back there, Brucey boy. You really know how to show a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the Iceman bummeth. If Bane survives, he'll make us all pay for abandoning yeah. him. For real. Bane will survive, and he won't let this slide. Guy's probably having a ball. Cracking skulls. We did what we had to do. We retrieved the package, and Harley drove off to make sure we kept it. You tell him. You're all welcome. All right. We got the package. Be grateful you're around to see it. Looks like a casket. <laughs> Intrigued, Brucey? Wanna know what's inside? That or like a giant weapon Go or on. something. Open it. They like ski. How did I guess? What? The Riddler. Oof! I thought he stank when he was alive. You really put us through a lot of trouble, Mr. Smarty Pants. Getting yourself killed like that. We needed you for the next stage. I've got what you need. Uh -oh. For the right price. Oh God, and she knows. She knows. Oh man. You and 18% of players left Tiffany feeling freaked out. She was surprised when you told her. She was outraged when you suggested she couldn't take care of herself. I didn't suggest that. She assumed that. And you may have helped her escape, but she doesn't trust your motivations. Ah, uh, great. You and 99.8% of players left Waller feeling content. She was frustrated, she was disapproved, but because he agreed to work with her, while undercover, your relationship is positive. You and 60% 60, uh, 60 of players left John feeling happy, intrigued, elated, okay. You and 60 left her happy, she was aggravated when he failed to manipulate you and the in the lab, but because you fought with her instead of Bane, she is thrilled. You and 81% of players left Gordon feeling worried. He was surprised when you called to tell him now that he knows Waller has leverage on you. He's sorry he doubted you because you told him the truth. He is worried that Waller might expose your identity. You and 33.3% uh, 33.9% of players left Alfred feeling stressed. He proved your decision to be honest with Tiffany. He was ashamed when you noticed he needed to rest and your conversation in the parlor left him feeling burnt out. Oh man. He's really getting, uh, yeah, I, Alfred needs a vacation, man. 
You get Tiffany to hand over the Phallus key. You and Knight 49.9 didn't convince Tiffany that handing over was a good idea. Huh. So 50% did. Interesting. He was ashamed when you noticed he needed to rest. Your conversation. Yeah, but he's doing he's not doing great. I don't know how to deal with that then. Did you call Gordon or Wall to get to Arsenal? You and 71 called reached out to Gordon. <laughs> you and 44 points uh two percent of players tried to calm down Willie with a drink. <laughs> the other alternative was twenty-three percent took him down when he pulled a knife. You and 42% of players attempted to minimize casualties in the convoy raid by following Harley, countering her chaos at every turn. Huh. Do you pinky swear with John? <laughs> Only 5% did it. That's funny. Cool. Well, that's definitely some good stuff. Uh, these changes are getting me very nervous. The odds <laughs> are very interesting. I am absolutely going to have to look up the difference of endings and things like that uh, once I finish the game. So because uh, today has been a long day, that's going to be it for me.